Well, why do you think evangelicals love and support Israel? What is your perspective on that? Because you've been to many churches. I mean, you've been around. So you, you've met many believers in Jesus Christ who love the nation Israel, love the Jewish people. Why do you think they do? Well, first, I think it's no doubt that there's a clear correlation between how religious you are and how, how supportive of Israel you are. Mm-hmm. And it goes back to our shared roots yeah. and our shared DNA. And the more religious you are, the more you understand that, the more yeah. you think beyond your, your present day you know, bubble reality and you yeah. think in a broader terms about what it means to be part of a larger community, yeah. what that community, where it came from. Uh, and what our common roots are. And, and I think we find that very often, correct, Josh? Uh, wherever we go yeah. uh, and in religious communities, these are the natural, unchanging friends of Israel, no matter who the president is, no matter who the prime minister of Israel is. This is bedrock foundational That's values. Right. And there was a promise given to Abraham, and I know you're aware of it, where God said, I'll bless them, those that bless you and curse those that curse you. And you can look back historically at those nations that have raised their hand against Israel. We talked about the ancient Persian Empire under Artaxerxes. Of course, fast forward to Nazi Germany and a number of other nations and what has happened to them. And I believe, David, one of the reasons that God has blessed the United States of America is because we have blessed Israel. I think we were the first nation to welcome her when she declared her statehood on May 14th in 1948. And I made a statement a while back, and I, it was a little bit controversial. I got some pushback on it, so I made it again. Okay. because. But I said, I think in some ways America needs Israel more than Israel needs America. I mean, we think of Israel as this tiny nation that needs the help of America, and we have been our ally, and that's fine. But on the other hand, as we've blessed this nation, as we, as we have blessed the Jewish people, God has blessed us. And I think if we back off from the Jewish people and back off from our support of Israel— uh, could God back off on his blessing from us? If anything is needed in America today, it's the blessing of God upon us. And so I think this is a very important principle that's still in play today. Yeah, I think very much so. First of all, America is the most blessed country yeah. on earth, and America is the closest to Israel. So the yeah. correlation is there, the relationship is there, and it's real. Look at the countries that are enemies of America and enemies of Mm -hmm. the Jews and enemies of Israel. The nation of Syria is no more. The nation of Iraq is no more. Mm. Uh, All of these countries that that, uh, directed their rockets and their missile heads at Israel are now firing at themselves. I mean, we see it happening in our own lives. The countries that are friendly to Israel are those that are prospering. We see it in Africa. We see it in some countries in Europe. We certainly see it in America. And we don't see that changing because people of faith in this country uh, will not let that change. Uh, so I think the, the blessing very much is mutual and, 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 and the destiny is a shared destiny. We have the same friends and we have the same enemies. The enemies of Israel are the enemies of America and the enemies of America are the enemies of Israel. That's very true.